Hey guys, this is Vicarious Alex here, and I'm doing a retro review, that's right. This is an impromptu retro review of Star Trek Episode 2, The Wrath of Khan. And just got out of the movie theater, and I want to, like, review the movie a little bit. Uh, I'm also not, I'm listening to Ernest Cline's Armada, uh, which is a book about how humanity has been conditioned to, like, anticipate an alien invasion um, by the government or, like, a, a military organization influencing our media. And part of that is uh, that conspiracy that's, that's happening in the book is Star Trek. It's so cool. It's kind of cool. Um, and... I really enjoyed that while I was watching it and I'm like getting into this space battle um, that obviously Khan, the super intelligent being that Captain Kirk um, exiled for the last 15 years on this planet uh, and he comes and he's like destroying, he wants to destroy Captain Kirk so it's this like space battle, Captain Kirk is legit it's so funny how like this movie is like oh it's like such an awesome movie and it makes me feel like watching space moby dick they legit like have moby dick there this guy uh khan is super intelligent he's been stuck on this planet for 15 years he's had like eight books to read and like play some checkers like they didn't even the guy didn't even it was checkers right it wasn't chess the guy didn't even make a chess board, which was weird. Like, if I was super intelligent, I'd make a chess board, but they have checkers. And, like, there's only so much you can do with checkers. He's, like, playing his minions who I guess aren't as intelligent as him. Only two of them fucking can talk. So, anyways, uh, I'm really getting into, like, their... So, Khan and his... In, all these people get exiled to this planet that's supposed to be able to sustain life. And then six months after they get dropped there, another planet just blows up. Which is freaking highly unlikely. That it didn't just kill everybody on the other planet. But it blows up. Uh, this planet spontaneously explodes. Um, causing the planet that Khan gets exiled on to shift and to become a desolate wasteland. And that was six months in. So in, in six months, he sets up like, you know, I'm guessing a camp and like, the, that's why this hovels all together, right? And then planet shifts, a bunch of people die. Um, anyways, and he starts reading, reading Moby Dick and just getting really into killing his Moby Dick, which is Captain Kirk. Um, and I'm just like, re remind, like reminding myself of the conditions that they've put themselves in. And I just don't know why they didn't, like maybe, maybe like two of the people who couldn't speak were playing checkers and like the chess pieces were somewhere else. Or, you know, I would just assume there would be a more complex game there. And, uh -uh. I have this uh, light that I got for um, Burning Man, and now I'm like using it, but I like fucking let it shut off. Anyways, so that's the Wrath of Khan. No, no, the so he gets out and uh, takes over the ship and uh, maroons the the people on the ship on the planet but they don't show that they actually just like kind of sneak that in there in like the last scene they're like oh and everybody's okay the whole crew is uh sitting in that hovel playing checkers like and they're fine i thought he killed them all but obviously i'm not a deranged psychopath most intelligent being in the solar system or they don't really explain why he's super intelligent. Um, see, I, I, I don't know. 
I've I've never seen the the actual like episode of Star Trek, I guess, with Khan in it to show like how super awesomely intelligent he is. Or is that an episode of him and just assuming that? I don't know. That's how much I haven't cared to see it. So, anyways, as a standalone movie, the guy seems pretty fucking stupid. I mean, he's got all the people he's known for the last 15 years with him. They get off this hellhole planet. Good. Good job. Then they, like, get this Genesis machine, which is, like, this... Um, contraption to to terraform a planet. I mean, they couldn't use terraform back then, I guess, because people didn't understand what it was. But I know what it is. So they're going to, like, make a planet inhabitable. Any planet that they want. They could have went back to the planet that they were on and, like, fucking shot it with a thing, and it would have made it, like, the most beautiful planet ever. So they can go anywhere they want, and they can shoot this thing, but it, and, like, start a new life, and that's what his crew wants, but his crew... Once again, I mean, they don't seem too intelligent. And blind faith, giving Khan blind faith that they're going to fall into their death, which they do, because Khan has obviously gone insane. Guys, wake up. This guy's fucking crazy. So, that's basically the movie is like Khan being crazy Captain Ahab uh, with Star Trek characters that you know and love. And Leonard Nimoy, I mean, has an amazing scene. It's like touching. Um, then his character, Spock, dies. Obviously, like, you guys seen this movie. Come on. The new one, like, rips off the end scene. Like, it should have ended. Remember when that sh movie should have ended and it kept going? Well, that keeps going into this movie when it was good. And then they fucking ruined it. But anyways, so, but he comes back. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just really hung up on Khan's motivations because they don't make any fucking sense. And if I wanted somebody like really deranged quoting Moby Dick lines, like I would really expect myself to want to read Moby Dick or get all the way through it, which I haven't done. And if I really want that deranged look on revenge then I think the book's gonna do a lot better than Star Trek did it and that's my honest opinion and I really love the shit out of this movie it was pretty good but it was pretty good because I like Star Trek not because it was a good movie I mean I think it's a good movie like but they do a lot of really good things and They do some cheesy stuff, too. The movie's pretty cheesy. I mean, I giggled. Didn't hold up as well, I think, as its source content. Because the source content has a lot to do with, like, a mental breakdown. And this movie has a lot more to do with an implied mental breakdown. Anyways, that's an impromptu retro review like, share, subscribe. Um, check out Armada. That's a cool book. I'm reading it right now. I've, I've been really enjoying it. It should give it more time and focus. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.